Hey legends, welcome back to the channel. Those of you who've been with us for a while might be thinking, this is probably a slightly different video, mostly on the account that you can actually see me for a change, and you would be correct, we're featuring something quite special today. Nvidia released a piece of software called the RTX Voice a couple of days ago. This functions by running AI learning in real time on a microphone feed to filter out everything that isn't the human voice. This is useful for everything from gaming through to sim racing, streaming, conference calls, just about anything you'd be doing while locked away at home. Now, Nvidia say that this only works on the 20 series RTX cards, but I've got it working on a 1080 Ti, and I'm confident it can work on some of your cards as well. I'm gonna have all the links down in the description, so just check them down there and you'll be able to get it running on everything it's capable of running on. Now, I've got it enabled right now. Usually, you'd be able to hear me clicking and clacking on my sim rig, now, I'm not saying there aren't artifacts as I do that, but compared to what's normally there, it's quite remarkable. So let me show you the raw microphone feed. All right, so this is it without anything. Quite a difference, right? Now you might be thinking, oh, it's just like any regular noise gate, only his voice is triggering the signal and everything else is getting rejected. That's true to a point, but with a regular noise gate, you'd still be hearing clicking and clacking every time my voice and the noise happens at the same time. So if I turn it back on, you start to just hear my voice, even though I'm doing other stuff in the background. Now I'm not saying it's perfect, it's still in beta. There's still a ways to go, the algorithm is still learning, but for the most part, it's quite impressive. And I'm gonna show you guys how it works in a sim race as well. Before I do that, I'd like to shout out my sponsors, Rode, for supplying this amazing NT1. I've been using it for all of my video capture since March, I think it's been, and it's one of the reasons that my voice sounds so nice and suave. So, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, have fun. All right, so here we are in a game called R Factor 2. Uh, allow me to explain to my sim racing friends what this abomination is. Until uh, SimLab or Next Level Racing get back to me with a cockpit, you know, with some kind of stock, I've had to cobble together this rocking chair with a car seat and the DD1 mounted to something flimsy. It's, it's just not pretty. I know, I know. But uh, let me use this opportunity to show you guys how well the NVIDIA RTX voice rejects noise. All right, coming out of the pits here. You should be hearing me clicking and clacking with the shifter paddles. Sometimes the creaking of the rig should be coming through, but uh, I'm guessing it's not too bad for you guys right now. And uh, to those of you who are a bit more astute, you may notice one critical thing. I'm not wearing headphones. So where do you think the sound of the game is coming through? My two very large speakers. And that's what's currently being rejected. It's quite impressive, isn't it? So this is tremendously useful for anybody who's streaming, who's gaming online with their friends, doing, oh man, who sucks at driving. <laughs> Anyway, let's pretend that didn't happen. So tremendously useful for those of you who are uh, more skilled and actually need to complete laps or play with your friends or talk to your boss online. But yeah, this is Nvidia RTX voice. Now again, I'm not saying that it's perfect. I'm not saying that you haven't heard any shifter clacking at all or any artifacting on my voice. It's still a beta, it's still work in progress, but it will work on all the new 20 series RTX cards and it will also work on the 10 series cards, at least it did in my case. And yeah, that is a lap with uh, NVIDIA RTX. So, to those of you who aren't too familiar with this channel, we cover a lot of sim racing and action RPG content. If you're into any kind of gaming, you love staying abreast of things that are happening, check out some of the prior content, and if you're interested, maybe hit subscribe and join us in the future. Um, for everybody else, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.